friends welcome to our channel so in the previous session we have discussed regarding the arithmetic operators and we have seen there are five arithmetic operators addition subtraction multiplication division and modulo operator and in today's session let us have a discussion on garbage values and how the garbage values will be allocated to the variables when the garbage values will be allocated and then uh, the sequential execution of a c program so first one is garbage values before going to the garbage values we have to revise the earlier sessions that is regarding the variables so uh, in the previous sessions we have seen the importance of a variable and what is a variable so a variable is a, a name alternate name given for a memory location so whenever we have defined these variables that means we are defining the memory locations so we are giving an alternate names for those memory locations so all the input and output values or the intermediate values will be saved in that memory locations so for that we are giving some variable names so already in the previous session we have seen the rules and regulations to be followed while creating a variable that means while giving a variable name and at the maximum length we can give for any variable name so the important rule in a variables is we have to define all the variables before we use those variables in our program itself so that means before using the pro variables we have to declare those variables in the c program so let us have a simple example for these variables so this is a simple very simple example so this is a simple program which uh, takes the input values and just print those input values on the output screen so in this example let us see the importance so see so here this a and b are variables so that means the names given for the memory locations so immediately after executing this statement immediately after executing this statement the compiler will create a memory locations two memory locations will be allotted one is name a and another will be with name b as we have mentioned here the data type is integer the memory locations will only accept the integer values so after executing this int a comma b two memory locations will be allocated for the integer values so only the integer values can be stored in these memory locations named as a and b now before executing these statements before executing these statements so after allocating a and b there will be initial values that is called garbage values so here after the first statement two memory locations will be created which can accept only integer values and those memory locations will be filled with garbage values here the garbage value is a some dummy value a duplicate value so which is having a nothing logic some random number will be allocated for these memory locations that is a garbage value so after any variable that means a local variable any local variable which are defined or declared but not initialized will be having these garbage values that means variables must be declared but not initialized so in not initialized means we are not giving any value for those variables 
so after this first statement we have we doesn't give any value for both the variables so two memory locations will be created with the names a and b and it will be filled with garbage values and immediately after executing this statement a is equal to 5 this garbage value will be replaced with 5 so this is called initialization the word initialization means assigning a value to the variables assigning a value to the variables so this is called initialization a is equal to 5 is called initialization b is equal to 20 is called initialization so any variable which is declared but not initialized will be having by default garbage values that means dummy values so next statement after executing the next statement b is equal to 20 this garbage value which is available in the memory location b will be replaced with 20 now next statement printf statement the, as we have seen in the previous session printf is a output function so in order to display the output on the screen we have to use this printf function so here there are two variants we have seen in the pre previous sessions that is uh, displaying only the text and displaying the value of a variable in order to display the value of a variable we have to specify the type specifier so here a is having integer data type b is also an integer data type so we are printing a is equal to percentage d that is integer data type type specifier for integer data type here slash n that is display will be in a new line so b is equal to percentage d and we have to give the variable names with for the corresponding type specifiers and this a is for this percentage d and this b for this percentage d get ch now the importance of get ch it's a very important so in the absence of get ch the program will execute the program will uh, we will compile the program by pressing alt f alt plus f9 so immediately after um, rectifying all the errors the if, if you found the zero errors and zero warnings then you can execute the program that is run that control plus f9 automatically we can't see the output because again it will execute the program and again it will come back to the program itself compile it program itself so the user will not be able to see the output so if you want to see the output we have to use alt plus f5 so this is only done in the absence of get ch so this process will be done alt plus f5 that means the user can't see the output and if the user want to see the output the user have to press the alt plus f5 Five, the functional key 5 to see the output so this is done only in the absence of get ch if you include this get ch so this is a function get ch is a function so this get ch function uh, it indicates get character get character ch is a character get character so as we have discussed the different data types in the previous session we have seen the character is also one data type and uh, uh, all the key all the keys all the keys uh, i mean all the alphabets all the numerical values all the special symbols and everything will be comes under a character so each and every key in the keyboard will be a character so if you include this get ch until you press any key from the keyboard the output will remain same so that means the output will be in a hold that means the user can able to see the output until he press he or she press the key from the keyboard because we are using get ch function get ch means get char get get is nothing but an input function taking the character so from where we have to take the character means from the keyboard itself so and the one more very important thing in a c programming is it is a sequential execution as in the earlier sessions we have seen that c programming is a, a case sensitive 
and now it is a sequential execution so here the sequential execution means the execution will be in a sequential manner that means first line and then in the second line and the third line and followed by the remaining lines so the value in a variable may also changes depends upon the sequence of logic see int a comma b a is equal to 5 b is equal to 20 a is equal to a plus 1 b is equal to b plus 1 printf a is equal to percentage d slash n b is equal to percentage d a comma b see a simple program so after this statement in the a comma b as we have said in the previously two memory locations will be created one with a variable name a another one is variable name b and initially it will be filled with garbage values so dummy values some dummy values and immediately after executing a is equal to 5 this garbage value will replace it with 5 and after b is equal to 20 this garbage value will be replaced with 20 now a is equal to a plus 1 so sequential line by line line by line now a is equal to a plus 1 here a is equal to a plus 1 means in the a 5 is there so 5 plus 1 this 5 will be replaced with 6 because 5 plus 1 here b is equal to b plus 1 20 will be replaced with 21 now print a function a is equal to percentage d b is equal to percentage d a and b now automatically a is equal to the value in the memory location 6 b is equal to memory location value is 21 so this will be the output and if you include here some a is equal to some 10 now the first statement executing this program the first statement is a b so a is two memory locations will be created with the garbage values then a is equal to 5 this garbage value is replaced with 5 a b is equal to 20 again this garbage value is replaced with 20 a is equal to a plus 1 so 5 will be replaced with 6 b is equal to b plus 1 this value will be replaced with 21 next a is equal to 10 now the 6 will be replaced with 10 now print of a is equal to percentage b is equal to percentage the values are a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 21 so depends upon the sequence the values in the memory location will be changing so that's why these terms we call it as variables variables means the the values may vary depends upon the execution of a logic so that's why we call them as a variables it may vary from statement to statement the values may vary from statement to statement so this is a simple example for a sequential execution so we must be very careful while writing the logic because if we write uh, uh, if we write the wrong sequence automatically the output will be inaccurate so in order to get the accurate result we have to follow the perfect logic because it is a sequential and also it is a case sensitive so let us stop here hope you understood this a simple explanation uh, and in the next session we will see a one more operators so in the previous session we have seen this uh, there are different types of operators in our c programming among those we have started with the arithmetic operators and we have completed that arithmetic operators hope you understood those arithmetic operators and then in the next session we will uh, discuss with the one more category of operators thank you